Alrighty, hey folks, welcome back to the channel. I'm Alicia and I'm Lachette. And Charlie is down here resting um, nicely under our picnic table. We're Mile High Beach and we are full-time RVers. In case you haven't seen our other videos, we have been on the road for almost a year and a half. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's it's amazing. <laughs> it is amazing. And time flies when you're having fun. And today's topic is our summer to remember list. We're pretty excited about this. You want to show them? Yeah. Yeah, show yeah. them the summer to remember. This is our summer to remember. Yes. And uh, it is a list that um, we actually found from uh, Keep Your Daydream, yes. KYD. They, I think they started this years ago and um, I think introduced it to anybody it's it's not just for RVers it's for anybody to um, you know help you make memories help you make uh, um, you know memories of things you want to do over the summer yeah so we want to share with you some of the things we're going to try to do this summer yeah yeah and this is actually we're recording this on Memorial Day weekend and even though Memorial Day weekend isn't the official kickoff of summer it kind of starts to get you thinking about what you want to do for the summer so we thought we'd kick off this um, uh, this list kind of walk you kind through of a, some of the stuff. Kind of a part one. Part one, yeah. We'll do a part one, and then at the end of the summer, we'll, we'll tell you what we did. We did a part two and see how we did. That's exactly right. All right, and so yeah, so keep your daydream. You could actually find them on um, YouTube and Instagram, and you can actually get a summer to remember list for yourself. And anytime you're doing anything in your summer to remember activities, you just want to do a hashtag S two R twenty two because they that are doing exactly. their summer to remember activities. They like to see what everybody's doing. So yeah. make sure to tag their uh, uh, their their uh, initials there. Yes, yes. All right, well, let's kick it off. Our summer to remember, we really just sat down and thought, what are just some of the experiences we wanted to have? It doesn't have to be like this amazing, you know, fly to Europe experience. It could actually be having a snow cone on the beach in Hawaii oh, or yeah. having an ice cream or having a snow cone on the beach in California in California <laughs> yeah. whatever whatever memory you want to have it's about making memories exactly yes so we're going to kick off our list up at the top here so I'm going to go through a few of these I want to jump in okay. yeah so what the first one on the list is to visit Crater Lake National Park and yeah one of the things that we do as part of our travels is to try to hit the national park yeah um, so we've been to a few. Uh, we have a lot more to see. A ton. And <laughs> yes, it's a big list. And it's a big list. So I think we actually have two of them on this list. We yes. have uh, Crater Lake and um, the North Cascades National Park. Yes. Yes. So a couple of them that we're trying to get to uh, this summer. Yes. Um, adding new states to our states map. So you might have seen in a previous video, we actually have one of those state maps. And every time we go into a new state, the rule is you have to at least spend the night there. So we are excited to be able to add two new states. Yeah, so if you're following us, you know we're doing the Pacific Northwest, so stay tuned um, for when we get to add those stickers. Yeah, yeah. Uh, wine tasting in Oregon and Washington. Well, we figure while we're there. Well, well yeah, while we're there. Yes. While we're there, we yes. might as well have some wine. Yes. Um, the next one is attend a photo workshop. Yeah, you know, I think I've mentioned it before on the channel that I'm really interested in photography. Um, I've been interested for many years, and um, I'm just trying to hone my skills. So uh, one of the things I've done over the years is to try to find a photography workshop. So that's one of the things I'd like to try to find um, somewhere this summer, um, an opportunity to take a photo workshop. And her photography is very good. She's being very humble. She's just been juried into an international photography contest for the San Diego, the San Diego County San Diego Fair. County Fairgrounds. Yeah, yes. so very exciting. Thank you for bringing that up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, staying at a Harvest Host. You know, we've had a Harvest Host membership for, I don't know, like a year now. Yeah, since the beginning. Yeah. But just haven't had an opportunity to use it. Yeah, so we're excited to be able to use this. There, on our stay, we normally stay four weeks to six weeks, but there's those hops in between. And so far, we've just been using campgrounds. This time, we're actually going to start to use our harp sows, and yeah. we're pretty excited about yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Go fishing. Well, we already checked that, already one, check off that one off the list. Check that one off. Yeah, we'll put a photo of that. We actually went fly, fly fishing. We learned how to fly fish with uh, Fish Mammoth uh, last uh, Friday. Yeah, not, yeah, not too long ago, in fact. Yeah. Great, great group. Uh, great company. Yeah. Uh, the guy that, that uh, was our our host, his name was um, Jim. 
and yeah. he was excellent. He was excellent. Very, very serious technical knowledge about fly fishing yes. and bugs. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, Charlie has something on the list here. He wants to have some new sniffs. And he's doing that now. He's doing yes. that right now. Yes. <laughs> the next one is take an art class. And we're going to show some photos of that. I've already taken one. I took one in uh, at a place called C5 Studios in Bishop. And I like to take an art class in every place that we go. So I'm just going to be looking for them. So that one's already checked off. We'll put some photos. But you'll see some more by the end of the summer. Uh, what's, oh, visit farmer's markets. Well, uh, you should probably speak to that. <laughs> I love farmer's <laughs> markets. I always, when we ever, we, whenever we watch the KYD channel uh, on YouTube, uh, Trisha always loves going to farmer's markets. She and I could just run through farmer's markets and have a ball. <laughs> I love them. It's, it's local. It's, you know, the, the town's people. It, it's a really a great way to get to know an area. So place, I yeah. love them. So that we will be doing. Uh, and the next one is Vizzy. Visit Bodie State Historical Park. You can check that one off too. Check that one off. Yeah, we've already done that one. It was fantastic. Yeah. We'll put some photos yeah, of that. We'll put too. some photos of that. Yeah. 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 Um, the next one on the list is foraging for mushrooms. <laughs> How did well, we, we get started with that? Figures, well, we saw we saw the Netflix uh, show, wasn't it? Oh yeah, fantastic fungi. If you haven't seen that, it's pretty fascinating. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So we thought we would see what we, we figured to put us in the Northwest. Great place to do that. Yeah, it's like all wet and, you yeah. know, marshy, <laughs> marshy, green. Yeah, yeah. Um, have a lake picnic and reading. So we, we're on this loop right now, actually, uh, just off of 395. And it, what's it called? The June Lake Loop? The June Lake Loop. Yeah. So we're seeing all these great, beautiful lakes. I just want to sit next to one and have a picnic and read a book and lay in the sun and just enjoy the lakes. The next one. Uh, take an epic Milky Way photo. So kind of tied back to my uh, photo workshop. Maybe I can... Uh, uh, maybe the photo workshop will allow me to take an epic <laughs> Milky Way shot. But at any rate, that's what I would like to try as a place. Try to find a place where I can get the Milky Way. Yeah. So one of my hobbies is colored pencil art. And so I have do a colored pencil drawing. And that's just me keeping up with my art. I actually had a, an art instructor for a while, uh, a while. Her name was Blade, and she was a great instructor. And I just want to keep up with that. And so I've been taking pictures of little things, and that's going to be my, I'll show you when we do part two. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> yeah. Um, the next one, oh, meet friends in Oregon. Uh, we, you know, we were out of Southern California. I think we've said that before, if you've been following the channel. And we've had a number of friends move to Oregon. So we are hoping uh, that the timing works out that we can connect with them yeah. while we're there. And we've invited people to come hang out with us. We send our route uh, to, you know, close friends and family. And if they want to just hop on a plane, you, your sister's coming next week. Well, yeah, my sister's weeks. coming in a couple of weeks. <laughs> and then she's planning to come again when we are coming down the coast. So. Yes, because she is going to be into joining us for that wine tasting. So, <laughs> yes. yes. Exactly. So, yeah. So, hey, listen, we love that. And we love the ability to, you know, have friends and family join us. The next one is ride bikes on a great trail. Yeah, we have these, we finally got e-bikes and we are just trying to, itching to find a place to, to ride them. So yeah. we're hoping we can find a really nice place in our travels yeah. to get a, a good bike ride in. Yeah. The next one is tour the Rogue Creamery. So this is hilarious. So we have some friends that we met for dinner in San Diego and they, uh, Laura and Lori, yeah. and they spent a lot of time in Oregon. And so we had Oregon wine for dinner. We talked about this Rogue Creamery place and I was like, I want to go there. <laughs> so I'm following them on Instagram and it just really looks like another one of those places where you really get to know the locals. You really get to know the community. Yeah. yeah. Um, and we just talked about hosting friends and family. So yes. we're hoping that we'll have some opportunities to do that. Yeah. Uh, fish and chips in Astoria, Oregon. Now you found this. Right? Yeah, we, we're really looking forward to not only the wine but the foods of the Pacific Northwest. So yeah. I had found a apparently uh, fish and chips are a, quite the popular item in Astoria, Oregon. So when we're coming through there, we're hoping to um, get a chance to try some fish and chips. Yeah. And, and then um, and breakfast and, and Otis. Then breakfast in or Otis, Oregon. Um, another thing that when I was doing some research in the area, yeah. um, looked like they're known for their breakfast. So um, we're always looking for, you know, tastes of the area. Should we try those? 
Yeah. Now, we already mentioned this one, but visit North Cascades National Park. That's another one that's uh, almost the last one on the list. And then finally, um, wildlife photos and views. Is there any particular thing you want to take a photo of? No. You mean like an animal? Oh, um, no, I don't think so. I mean, if I can get a nice bird, you know, a nice bird mm -hmm. in flight would be nice. Um, but I'm I'm open. Whatever yeah. whatever we find. <laughs> well, and that's a good way to be, even in the RV lifestyle. Just being open because every day is different. You're learning something every day, and we're so excited to jump into this list and see what we can find and what we can bump into on our travels as we <coughs> go along uh, on our route for the Pacific Northwest. Yeah. Anything else? No, we'll just we'll just check back in like we said at the end of the summer and we'll see how we did. Yeah. Hopefully we'll have a lot of these checked out. Well, I hope you get a Summer to Remember list and wherever you are, like I said, it doesn't have to be an RV. If you just want some memories you want to make with your family and friends and you want to put a list together, absolutely. Actually, we'll put the link to the list below in the description and you can just grab it, print it, and put your own goodies on there. You just fill out the PDF and make your own list. So thanks for joining. Um, thanks to KYD again for yes. starting this. We, um, you know, we follow them. We followed them for a long time, so we really appreciate, you know, helping I think all of us yeah. try to create memories. Yeah. It's about being deliberate, right? And intentional about how you want to how you want to show up, how you want to live your life. And we just are so excited about this. So stay tuned for part two and we'll see you next time. Wow, 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 wow.